I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Hey, men. Leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to. But even when they're not, unless a woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way. Okay? It's not clever. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage behavior. And you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her. And you need to leave her alone. And this is Bacon. So, okay. So now it's the 27th still of January 2022. And it's 10.30 at night. And Mr. Perry has not shut up since the first podcast. It's like this every day. He's always wanting to know who told. Is it your family? Is it your kids? Is it Jim? Is it Kim? Is it Z? Is it Al? Is it Desiree? I'm, I get the same questions every fucking day. Then I start getting the threats. We've got a witness. We're going to do this to you. We're going to do that to you. We're going to false arrest you again. On and on. It's like this every fucking day. Every time I pick up my phone, try to type something. Every time I open my computer, try to type something. So, I don't know how many different ways, Mr. Perry, I need to say, stop contacting me, stop contacting my family, stop bothering us, go away, don't bother me, leave me alone. I'm not told who your leaks are, Mr. Perry, I'm not told who your leaks are, Mr. Perry, no, but they don't tell me that, because you're dangerous, you kill people, no one is going to tell you who your leaks are, Mr. Perry, I don't even know who half those people are. I've never met them. Those are your people. I don't know if they're your leaks. I'm not told that, Mr. Perry. I told you not to contact my family, didn't I? So if my family is a leak, again, I'm not told that. But stop contacting my family. Mr. Perry, we're tired of repeating ourselves. Stop contacting me. No one cares what you think. You were not asked, Connie Curry. No one asked you. What were you asked to do? Leave me the fuck alone. When you bother me, you get caught more because you piss us all off. When you bother me, Mr. Perry, when you cause a loss, when you cause a hardship, when you peep and creep, when you hack me, when you try to talk to me after I've told you to stop contacting me, leave me the fuck alone, you get caught more. And then you want to know who your leaks are. I'm not told who your leaks are. What I told you is leave me the fuck alone because when you don't, you piss us all off. My guys go at you harder and we get more. You don't want us to have what you just said, what you're trying to do. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Stop hacking. Stop peeping. Stop stalking me. Go away. Don't contact me. Leave me the fuck alone. Mr. Perry, leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. It's like talking to a six-month-old infant. Like you just don't understand words. It's driving us nuts. And we're sick of repeating the same thing to you over and over and over and over. And you're still not, it's not clicking. Leave me alone. Leave my family alone. Leave my kids alone. Leave us alone. Go be with your family, get busy working, get busy doing things in Lubbock with your people, and leave me and mine alone. I'm repeating myself again today. Leave me alone. Look at this. How many times she said that? Okay. Leave me alone. I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Two. Hey, man. There's one that counted six times. What is it with you stalker people that you don't understand words said to you? What is it with you? You got some sort of piece of your brain that's not getting any blood flow? What is wrong with you people that stalk that you can't respond to what's said to you appropriately? It's unbelievable. Maybe I can find it. I don't, don't stop stalking me. Please, I can't live here anymore because you stalked me. That's no, why I'm no, here. No, no, no. Just talk Leave 
leave me alone. Uh, I will. You talk to me for two minutes. No, and I'll leave you alone. zero minutes. I don't want to ever talk to you. What I don't happens? ever want to hear your voice. See you. Please what, go. Please go away. Please leave me alone. For four years. What is wrong with you, Mr. Perry, that you can't understand what I'm saying? I don't like you. I don't like you. It doesn't go both ways. I think you're repulsive. I don't like you. Don't contact me. I don't like it. Don't hack me. Don't peep. Don't bother me. When you do, your crime comes out more than ever. When in your life before you met me, was your crime caught this much? And let me tell you something. I'm the one that did that. I have help. But I'm the one that did that. So when you start making threats to me, you're going to kill me. You're going to find a way to false arrest me. You got a witness. You got this. You got that. And is it this person that ratted me out? Is it that person that ratted me out? Wow. Please remember who it is you're fucking talking to. I've done something none of your other victims have done. And you have a lot of victims. Don't fucking threaten me. Remember who you're talking to, sir. Do not threaten me. Don't threaten my family. Remember who you're talking to. When in your life has your crime been caught this much? Mr. Perry, shut up. When in your life has your crime been caught this much? Mr. Perry, shut up. When in your life has your crime been caught this much? Leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone. It, I mean, you're just... I, I, I don't even... I, I don't even know what to say to the fucking... This is the one. That's How many... Leave me do you understand that people who posted this shit are disgusted by that guy? And everybody's disgusted by you too. We shouldn't have to say the same thing to you over and over and over and over, and it's not clicking for you. Shut up. No one cares what you think, and get out of my life. I'm not told who your leaks are. I don't know. Wouldn't help you if I did. Mr. Perry, when you're in jail, I'll have my privacy back. I'm not hacked anymore, and I'll never be broke again, and my family won't be threatened all the time either. We have peace. We'll have safety. I won't be broke ever again. So why would I fucking help you? Listen, I'm in a strip club work, working in a strip club for six years. You had your guys coming in. You had Mickey James come in. You had Pinto come in. You had Dave Robertson come in. You had Terry Wagner come in. You had Joel come in and talk to me. And there's other there's other ones that I didn't get a text from or didn't record them. But they can't. You had other people coming in there too. Where I am in Oklahoma. I'm not seeking you out. You're seeking me out. You're going where I am. My car's been wrecked four times. Right over the wheel. In two years. Four fucking times. $300 per individual in this country pays for that. Consumers pay for that. You didn't have that happen. I'm having this happen where I am. You had all those people coming at me. If I wanted you to know who your leaks were or which, which law enforcement agency is helping me, I would have said something. I didn't because I don't want you to know. Because when you're in jail, I get my privacy back. My family's back. And we don't have to worry about being threatened if somebody says the wrong thing the wrong way that just didn't suit you or you think they're a leak. We don't have to worry anymore. We're not going to feel fear. We're not going to feel sadness. We're not going to feel creeped out and disturbed. We're not going to be bothered by you anymore. And I'll never be broke again. Zero motivation to help you. And for me to even have to tell you that speaks to your very low intellect. I shouldn't have to tell you that. Most people don't have to be told that. So why do we have to say it to you? And not once, but over and over. Do you have senile dementia? Over and over. This dude's old too. Something is missing for you, a chip in your, in your mind, that you would act like that. And after you're scolded and told on and caught, and even you have negative consequences, it's not even working out for you. It's not benefiting you to bother me all fucking day. You're getting told on more than ever in your life. Your crime is getting caught more than ever in your life, and you just go right back at it. What is wrong with someone that does that? I'm embarrassed for you. Look at this. She's counting how many times she had to repeat herself. I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just talk to me for two minutes and I'll leave you alone. Oh, God. It's too damn early for this shit. Leave me alone. How do you dress like this? What? Are you a prostitute? 
He wasn't asked what he thought of her clothes, was he? You're not asked what you think, Perry. I'm repeating myself over and over every fucking day. Leave me alone. You type in my phone people's names you think are leaking on you. I'm not told who your leaks are, sir. Why would I be? So you can go kill them? So you can go hurt them? I'm not told that. Even if I was, I'm not going to help you. I want my privacy back. I want my family and friends not to be threatened. I want them to not get a fucking phone call from y'all. Here's what you're, you're, if you tell them when, when they're allowed to talk to me and what they're supposed to say. And then they get threatened if you guys think they fucked that up or leaked. Stay away from them. Because all of you, your crimes haven't been caught so much as they have when you bother me. Your crimes, Perry, haven't been caught so much as they have when you bother me. Mr. Perry, I'm repeating myself. In your lifetime, when have your crimes been caught this much? Now you threaten me again. Remember who it is you're talking to. Remember who it is you're fucking talking to. When in your lives have your crimes been caught this much? Mr. Perry, in your lifetime, when was your crime caught this much? You know why that happens? Because you bother me and it pisses me off. Get the fuck out of my life. Stay the fuck away from my family. Stay the hell away from my children. And don't bother me because I don't like it. It's like this guy. No one asked you what you think. You were asked to leave me the fuck alone. Now, I'm going to tell you for the last time, this is a cease and desist letter. I mean, verbal. This is a cease, verbal cease and desist. When you get told on some more, you asked for it. You provoked it and you asked for it. It has been this every day for six years, Perry. Do you see that letter? McNamara email. October 29, 2015. Mr. Perry, somebody leaked. You so disturbed them by what you told them you were going to do to me, to hurt me. They told on you. They reported you. And then I'm typing it up months before you did it. And it has been that way over and over and over. The harassment email. The Mike was drugged email. The I'm going to have her car towed and sold before she figures out it's not legal email. On and on and on and on. How many times in your lifetime were you caught in your crime before you met me, before you attacked me? I don't care what you think. I said get the fuck out of my life and don't bother me again. I don't like it. I don't like you. You make everybody feel creeped out, disturbed, upset, repulsed, sick to their stomach, anxious, scared. Fuck off. Control yourself. If you have power, Perry, then you can control yourself and go be normal and stop bothering me. The results you've gotten is no cover-up and no date. You'll never get a date with me. I'm not told who your leaks are. I don't know who gave us this couldn't tell you I don't know you're dangerous they're not nobody's gonna tell you that nobody's gonna tell you that you're dangerous dead lucky almost dead framed Mike almost dead Cindy that's why nobody's gonna tell you anything when you're in jail I'll have my privacy back I won't ever be broke again my family won't be threatened anymore we won't feel s scared and anxious and all the negative emotions people don't want to feel we're sick of you. Everybody's sick and tired of you. Mr. Perry, everybody is sick and tired of you. Mr. Perry, everybody's sick and tired of you. Don't contact me anymore. Don't bother me again. I'm tired of having to repeat myself. I'm from Vegas, Mr. Perry. We say it one time. And if you can't keep up, there's the door. Leave me the fuck alone. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just talk to me for two minutes and I'll leave you alone. Oh, God. It's too damn early for this shit. Leave me alone. How do you dress like this? What? Are you a prostitute? I'm serious. Sir, please leave. That's okay. I don't care. Leave me alone. No one asked him what he thought. Wasn't asked. Perry, no one asked what you think. No one cares. What was he asked to do? Leave me alone. Six times. Six fucking times. 
Mr. Perry, leave me the fuck alone. Mr. Perry, when you contact me, when you cause problems for me, you get told on. McNamara email. Harassment email. Mike was drugged email. I'm going to have her car towed and sold before she figures out it's not legal email. On and on and on and on. We need a ringtone email. There's like 50 of those. Over and over and over. When you bother me. Listen, it's a pattern. A six-year-old could spot it. A six-year-old, sir, can spot it. You don't have any power. You can't. You, nobody should have to tell you this. And you've been told over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and you still don't get it. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't bother me. I don't like it. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't bother me. I don't like it. I'm not told who your leaks are. Wouldn't help you if I did if I was told that. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't bother me. I don't like it. Go work. Go be with your family. Get out of mine. Stay away from me. How many times do I got to say it for you to get it? I don't like you. I don't want to hear from you. I want you to be gone. I want for you to be gone. When you're gone, I don't have to deal with this shit anymore. I won't be broke ever again. Leave me the fuck alone. You don't have power if we have to tell you this. When you bother me, you get told on. When you bother me, you get told on. When you bother me, you get told on. When in your life has your crime been caught this much? When you bother me, you get told on. When you bother me, you get told on. I don't know who your leaks are. I don't know who your leaks are. They don't tell me who your leaks are. I don't know. Shut up and go away. I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just talk to me for two minutes and I'll leave you alone. Oh, God. What does that say? What does that say? What did I tell Dr. Russell? How do I, what combination of words do I use to get the fucker to leave me alone? What did I tell Pinto? I don't care about his political beliefs or his, political, uh, his career. I want him to leave me the fuck alone. I've said it over and over and over and over. Didn't ask you what he thought. No one cares. I've said over and over, I'm not told who your leaks are. I don't care. I said leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't bother me. I don't like it. Leave me the fuck alone. When in your life has your crime been caught this much? When you threaten me, remember who it is you're talking to, sir. Remember who you're talking to. When have your crimes been caught this much? Leave me the fuck alone. What does that say? This is my recording of my conversation with Dr. Russell. This was in 2016. What does that say? What combination of words do I need to use to, to get the fucker to leave me alone? I said the same thing. She said, he escalates more than you can ignore. He's men developmentally disabled, are you? Are you? Are you a little slow? Look. But the problem is they can escalate more than you can ignore, and that's what you've got with Charles. Leave me the fuck alone. Look at this. This is what I tell Pinto. Same thing. I don't care about his pol politics. You know what? He's just nasty. 
I don't like him. $5,000 you offered me. And I was like, yuck, no. How many times did this guy ask me if I was wearing a wire? I recorded him. This is the typed up thing. Anybody can look at it. Politically. You could ruin him. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. I want him... I want for him to leave me the fuck alone. What combination of words do I use so that you will leave me the fuck alone? I'm not told who your leaks are. I don't know. How many different times do I need to say that? How many How many times do I need to repeat myself for you to get it? Because if you'll give me a number, I'll say it that number of times so that you leave me the fuck alone. I don't know who your leaks are. I told you to stay the fuck away from my family and my kids. Everybody's sick of you. Your crime's not been caught this much in your life. So before you threaten me, please remember who it is you're talking to. Leave me the fuck alone, Mr. Perry. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear from you. I didn't ask you what you think. I don't care. What I asked you to do is leave me the fuck alone. Don't bother me. Don't contact me. Get out of my life. Quit hacking. Quit peeping. Go work. Go be with your family and stay the fuck away from mine. This is a cease and desist letter, a verbal thingy. Mark, call, get your client under control. If he had some power, he could go be normal. I want for your client to not contact me or anyone I know ever again, and I've made that very, very, very clear. It is enough already. We're sick of y'all. Leave us the fuck alone. In a civilized society, we don't act like you. It's deviant. It's criminal. Stalking is a crime in all 50 states. For you, it's federal. Title 18 of the United States Code, 1512 and 1513. I'm asserting the right to the protections of those laws right now. Don't contact me again. I don't like it. I'm not going to tell you who your leaks are. I'm not told that. Please, leave me the fuck alone. Please leave me alone. Please stop bothering me. I don't like it. Please leave me alone. Leave me. What is, I can't live here anymore because you stopped me. That's no, why I'm no, here. No. Leave me alone. No, I will. You talked to me for two minutes. No, zero minutes. I don't what, want to ever talk to you. I don't ever want to hear your voice. See you. What, please what God happened? bless you. But what please happened? leave me alone. Just, please just, leave me alone. Please, huh? Stop following me. You won't call the cops. Stop. I don't. Stop stalking me. Please. Hey. I can't live here anymore because you stopped me. That's no, why I'm here. No, Leave me alone. Uh, I will. You talked to me for two minutes. No, zero minutes. I don't want to ever talk to you. I don't ever want to hear your voice. See you. What, please what God happened? bless you, but what please happened? leave me alone. Just, just, please leave me alone. Please uh, stop following me. You won't call the cops. Stop. I don't. Stop. Stop. You know you want. I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Hey, men. Leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to. But even when they're not, unless a woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way. Mr. Perry, find a date a different way. I, I'm, I'm also going to assert domestic violence laws uh, under equal protection. The Constitution. I shouldn't have to assert this. This is just my right. But since it's you, i got to say it specifically. I have the right to equal protection of the law. I'm asserting domestic violence laws right now. I'm asserting United States Code, Title 18, Section 1512 and 1513. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm asserting... All anti-voyeurism laws. I'm asserting anti-hacking laws. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm asserting anti-stalking laws. I have the right to those protections. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay, it's not clever. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage behavior. And you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her, and you need to leave her alone. And this is bacon. That's okay. I don't care. Leave me alone. You want. I don't want proof of this. Please yeah, leave me alone. Hey, men. Leave women the fuck alone. 
when they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them, especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to. But even when they're not, unless a woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way. Okay, it's not clever, it's not cool, it's not cute, it's garbage, it's absolute garbage behavior, and you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public, it doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her, and you need to leave her alone. And this is Bacon.